We use time as part of our daily lives. Time tells us when we're supposed to be at school, when we're supposed to get up, when we're supposed to be at our doctor's appointment, when we are supposed to go to bed. We use time to help drive our day every day. As third graders, we know how to tell time to the hour, but today we're going to practice telling time to the half hour and the quarter hour. We know how to count by ones and we know how to count by fives. When we tell time, we count by fives. Today we're going to use these skills to help us figure out other times on the clock. Let's review the hands very quickly. If I wanted to tell time to the hour, the clock will tell me here's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And I also know that there are not 12 hours in the day. I know that once we get to 12 o'clock or noon, we start all over again. The hour hand has to go around twice to make one complete day. The hour hand, the word hour, is a short word. So the hour hand is the short hand. Right now I have it pointing at the three, which means the hour would be three o'clock. When we count minutes, we don't count it's one minute, two minute. What happens is we count by fives. So I like to think of it as a multiplication problem. So if you have a one, you know it's five times one, so it's been five minutes. If you have a two, it's five times two, so it's been ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times four is twenty. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times six is thirty. Five times seven is thirty-five. Five times eight is forty. Five times nine is forty-five. Five times ten is fifty. Five times eleven is fifty-five. And five times twelve is sixty, but that's when we start the minutes over again, so we would just say it's zero minutes, and it's a new hour. Now, the word minute is a long word. That means the minute hand is the long hand. And the reason why the minute hand is the long hand is because when you're trying to figure out time to the minute, you want that hand closer so it could help you figure out times. Let's talk about telling time to the half hour. When we are halfway through an hour, that means we've gone halfway around the clock. So if we start at zero, or the 12, and we work our way around halfway around the clock, we would stop at the six, which six times five is 30. So half of an hour is 30 minutes. So when the minute hand is on the six, we know that that's 30 minutes, which means it's a half hour past whatever time it is. So if I wanted to see what time it was, I would look at the hour hand, which tells me it's pointing to the 2, so the time would be 2. And then I see that this, the minute hand is on the 6, which means 30 minutes have gone by, so it's 2.30. Or I could say that it's half past 2, because half an hour has passed since 2 o'clock. Now we've practiced our fractions before, and if I wanted to divide this clock up into four equal pieces, it would look like this. I cut my clock into quarters. So if I were to say that each quarter was worth a certain amount, I could just count 5, 10, 15. This quarter is 15 minutes. I know that I divide it up into four equal pieces, so I know that this is 15 minutes, this is 15 minutes, and this is 15 minutes. A lot of people like to tell time by talking about quarters. If I said it was a quarter past one o'clock, that means it's 15 minutes past one o'clock. If I wanted to say it was a quarter until 2 o'clock, that means it's 15 minutes until 2 o'clock. That means it's not the future yet, it's not 2 o'clock, so we would think of the hour before. 
the hour before 2 o'clock is 1. So the time would be 1.45. If I were to label my quarters, the 12 would be 0. We would just say it's whatever o'clock. The 3 would be 15. That's one quarter past. The 6 would be 30 minutes. But we don't say it's a quarter because it would be two quarters. So we would say it would be half. And then the 9 would be 45 minutes. Or we could say it's 15 minutes till. If I were to look at this time, I would first look at my hour hand, and I would see that, you know, it's not quite to the 4 yet. So I would know that the hour is 3. Because we can't go forward in time, we can only go back in time. Then I look at the minute hand and I see that it's on a 9, and I know that the 9 counts as a quarter. So I know that 9 times 5 is 45, so I could say the time is 345. But if I wanted to use a quarter, I could say that I have 15 minutes until it's going to be 4 o'clock. So I could say that it is a quarter until 4, or a quarter to 4. That means in one quarter of an hour, it's going to be 4 o'clock. When we're telling time, the first time that the hour hands go around the 12 hours, we call that a.m. That means it's morning. And p.m. means that it's afternoon or night. What are some things you do in the a.m. and what are some things that you do in the p.m.? Please talk about it with your groups. And remember, telling time takes a little bit extra time to look at that clock, but if you understand how to count by fives and you understand quarter of an hour is 15 minutes and that half an hour is 30 minutes, then you'll do just fine.